All right, so today we're going to pull back the curtain on a really groundbreaking development from Apple. We're talking about something that could fundamentally change how AI interacts with the world and, maybe more importantly, with you. And this isn't just about making things a little bit faster. It's about making AI truly see and understand our world in real time, right on the devices we already own. But first, let's start with a little test. Take a look at these images. I mean, they kind of look like snowflakes, right? Or maybe some kind of abstract art. The real question is, can a powerful AI look at these super complex, kind of random looking patterns and tell you what they are? Turns out it's a surprisingly tough challenge, even for the most advanced systems out there. So what are they? They're salt crystals. Yeah, when tiny drops of 12 different salt solutions dry up, they form these totally unique characteristic patterns. Identifying them is the perfect example of a really hard visual analysis problem, and it highlights a huge challenge in AI. To really get our heads around how an AI even begins to tackle a problem like this, we need to talk about the tech that, you know, gives it sight in the first place. And the technology at the heart of all this is called a vision language model, or VLM for short. The easiest way to think about these is that we're giving AI its own set of eyes, and not just eyes that see, but eyes that can actually comprehend what they're looking at, just like they understand words. So instead of just typing a question, you could show it a chart, a document, a photo, and then just ask questions about it. So you might be thinking, if this tech is so powerful, what's the catch? Why haven't these amazing visual abilities been running smoothly on our phones and laptops this whole time? Well, the answer comes down to a massive, massive data bottleneck. The core issue has always been resolution. See, for an AI to pick up on fine details, it needs a high-res image. But processing that super detailed image creates this enormous flood of information that the AI has to sort through. And that leads to some pretty major delays. This flood of information, it comes in the form of something called visual tokens. And honestly, the best way to think about them is as tiny digital puzzle pieces. The more detail you have in the picture, the more millions and millions of puzzle pieces the AI has to sort through. And that creates a huge processing lag, a traffic jam, really. And this delay, it has a name. It's a critical metric called time to first token, or TTFT. You know that feeling? It's that frustrating pause between when you show the AI an image and when you get the very first word of its response back. Cutting that lag time down has been an absolute obsession for researchers, especially the ones at Apple. So for years, researchers have been trying all these clever tricks to manage this token explosion. Some tried, you know, pruning them on the fly, which is kind of like editing a long essay after it's already written. Others used these hierarchical methods to summarize parts of the image or even just ditched the really powerful but slow models for faster ones. But here's the thing. These were all just patches. They weren't a real fundamental fix. And this is where Apple's approach is just genuinely different. They basically decided, hey, instead of dealing with the traffic jam, let's just prevent it from ever happening in the first place. Their solution is called Fast VLM. And the secret sauce is this new hybrid vision encoder they built called FastVith HD. It is designed from the ground up to tackle that token problem right at the root. I mean, the difference in their thinking here is just night and day. The old methods were like trying to force way too much traffic down a tiny road, they created way too many tokens, and then tried to cut them down later. FastVLM's hybrid approach is so much more elegant. It blends these fast, efficient engines for grabbing local details with the really powerful ones that understand the bigger picture. It's the best of both worlds. So how's it work? Well, most models use four stages to process an image. Apple went and added a crucial fifth stage with a really aggressive data reduction step right near the beginning. And this, this is the game changer. It means the smartest, most context-aware part of the AI gets to work on data that has already been intelligently shrunk by a factor of 32. And the result of all this cleverness? The architecture produces four times fewer visual tokens for the language model to deal with. But, and this is the important part, it does it while preserving all the fine details the AI needs to give you an accurate answer. It's like having fewer puzzle pieces, but each piece is way, way smarter. Okay, so all those technical details sound pretty impressive, but what does it actually mean for performance, you know, in the real world? Well, the numbers are, honestly, they're kind of staggering. At its absolute maximum resolution, when it's processing a super detailed image, fast VLM is an incredible 85 times faster on that crucial time to first token metric. 85 times. That isn't just a little improvement, that is a fundamental leap forward. 
And what's just wild is that there's no big trade-off. You look at it compared to a similar model, and FastVLM gets that insane 85x speed boost with a vision encoder that's over three times smaller, all while keeping the accuracy right up there. It is a win on every single front. And it's not just about that one headline number. The vision part of the AI is smaller, it's actually more accurate on tough jobs like reading text inside of an image, and it can be trained in just half an hour. That kind of efficiency just makes developing this kind of advanced AI so much more accessible to everyone. Okay, let's go back to our salt crystals for a second. This chart, it's called a confusion matrix. It shows just how often a really powerful AI like GPT-40 got mixed up when it tried to identify them. The fact that it's so messy tells you this was a seriously tough task. Getting these visual challenges right and doing it consistently is a huge, huge hurdle for AI. But making it accurate and fast enough to run on our personal devices on your laptop, that is the real next frontier. And that's exactly what Apple tested. On just a regular MacBook Pro, Fast VLM is nearly seven times faster than other popular models. This thing isn't some research experiment that needs a supercomputer. It's designed for the devices we all use every single day. So let's bring this all home. What does a massive leap like this in on-device AI vision actually mean for us, for you and me? Well, it unlocks a future where our AI assistants are instant, totally private, and always available. I mean, imagine pointing your camera at some dense, boring report and getting an instant summary. Or an AI that sees the ingredients on your counter and just suggests a recipe in real time. And maybe the best part? Because it all happens right there on your device, your data stays private. That's a huge deal. You know, there's a line in the research paper that just nails the shift perfectly. It says it's like giving our devices eyes that can actually think right there with you. This isn't just about faster processing. It's about changing the fundamental nature of what our devices can do for us without the lag and without even needing an internet connection. And that brings us to the final thought here. With this big barrier of speed and efficiency finally getting knocked down, the possibilities are just blowing wide open. So if your phone could see and understand your world just as fast as you can, what would be the very first thing you'd ask it to do? That's definitely something to think about.